Hello, this is Sam the Old Man playing games and today we're doing our very first or my very first expedition. It's been a while. So in this we get to draft and build a deck using basically every card in the game as far as I understand it. And then we fight against other players to battle for rewards. Theoretically you could go and get yourselves, look online and get like an amazing deck. But I think part of the fun of the whole game is trying to build the deck yourself. So let's embark and see what happens. I've got three tokens, so my very first one. It's time, I've played enough, I've got a feel for how to build a deck. Build some trial decks. Trial one, the more matches you win, the better the reward. Interesting, interesting, begin trial. Let's see what happens, cool animations. So, one of 15 champion picks. Oh, this is interesting. So, it's not a full um, full deck. We get to pick who, like, which three cards you want to add to deck. Oh, that's super interesting. So, let's have a look. Kill two enemies and then she levels up. With uh, her big thing is challenger. When I've killed four enemies and survived, you win the game. Wow. Wow, that's um, that's certainly something. What's Swain, the Nexus Strike? Uh, deal three to enemy Nexus when when he uh strikes the Nexus. So that's interesting. Um, what what are the extra cards? Uh, I I don't know. I'm really leaning to Fiora there. Uh, what what goes with Jinx? Jinx isn't bad either. So plunder. Grant one cost allies everywhere plus one plus zero. So you're going to make a cheap deck if you're, or like that's what you're going to try to do. Play me, discard one, um, last breath, draw one. Definitely leaning towards the challenger deck. And you know, the Vanguard Elite, grant me plus attack, grant get plus two plus two, not bad. Oh, it's cost four though, it is expensive. Oh, really tough call. I really don't know which way to go. What what way would you go? Ah, uh, which way? I, okay, I haven't really played um, Bigger Water. So, but I have played Deme Demacia. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to deck. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Zed is pretty cool. Zed, I do definitely like Zed. Gangplank, never played with him before. When I'm summoned, summon a powder keg. Um, you've damaged the enemy nexus in five different rounds. Interesting. I can see that being tough. Matches don't actually last that many rounds. Katarina's pretty nice too. It all depends what they come with. Attack, give other allies plus one plus zero. And when I'm summoned, grant me plus two plus zero if you have another noxus ally. Or do we go with Zed? I do like some of the, um, I think it's Iona? I'm going to go with Discipline here. Let's go ahead and add that to deck. What's next? So we have 15. This is really cool. This is not what I was expecting. Who are we putting, who are we putting it? So you get to pick one particular thing or mix one of both. Uh, who do I want? Recall an ally is not bad. Um... Oh, that's not bad here. Here's some cheap characters in the middle there. One of each. Or an elite. Grant other allies plus one plus one when you're attacking. And when you summon an elite, reduce my cost by one. Okay. I'm leaning towards going elite, and especially since that's a blue card. Whereas in the middle there, that's, neither of those are blue good ones. I'm going to go with Domation Steel. Add to deck. No surprise, I'm going for a lot of Demacia since uh, that's what I'm familiar with so far. Summon the top ally from your deck now and each round start. Ooh, okay, it's a 12 cost card. It's like you get to the end and no one's winning. That's a game winner for you there. Um, flash Freeze Burst, Frostbite and Enemy. What have we got here? I'm gonna, again, I might go with the Demacia. What's in the middle here? An ally kicks an enemy into their nexus, striking both if the enemy 
uh, survives and then recall it. Interesting. Scale the dragons. When I'm summoned, create a dragon protection in hand. Grant a plus zero plus three. Again, I mean, the Bright Steel Formation is a great game ender. I might actually go with that. I might have to start mixing it up. Go for Deny is a pretty good spell here. So, and then we've got a barrier this round. I'm leaning towards that. Um, elusive to play Recall an Ally. Interesting. Oh, interesting. If you need an ally to uh, to come back and like heal, that's not bad. The middle middle. But I'm short on spells. But there's an elite again. Another elite. And uh, from get, I feel like I'm getting too many expensive four or five spells or can I have too many spells I don't know I'm gonna go you know what I'm, I'm gonna go when I'm summoned grant allies in hand plus one it's pretty good I'm going to go for the middle one there there we go now what very tough decisions crate another random spell in hand okay yep yeah, maybe enlightened Create two instead. What's enlightened is you have when you have ten mana or less, basically. Um, okay, it's an elusive two two. They're both decent. Radiant guard, prismatic barrier. Give an ally barrier this round. It's not been overly useful for me. The challenger cards are pretty good. Let's go for the middle again. Okay. Whoa. Shield wall, discipline, or domation steel. Judgment, a battling ally strikes all battling enemies. Okay, that card is pretty amazing. It's got me out of a lot of pinches and won up for me several times. Double attack is, is pretty good too. Although I need some cheap stuff. I don't have a lot of cheap stuff in my deck. Um, so this is why it's a tough decision here. When I'm summoned, draw unit if an ally died this round. I'm going to go for the cheap ones, the cheap units. I really needed some cheap units in here, and I think I need some more cheap units. I'm leaning towards Scouted Out. Crimson Guard is nice, but very expensive. I think I've got too much expensive stuff already. Allegiance. Uh, I'm not leaning towards Allegiance this turn. We're going to go for, again, Scouted Out. So there's a couple more cheap cards. Getting there. This is such a cool way of making a deck. All right, what have we got? Ooh, Bright Steel Protector's not bad. Again, cheapy GP. Give an ally challenger this round. That could be useful. Pl uh, again, in the middle, these two. Uh, what have we got? Whoa. Rip. Give an ally plus three, plus zero, and barrier this round. That could be useful. More useful than the Sonic Wave. I think so. Let's go ahead and add the scouted out again to the deck. I don't know. I have no idea. I, this is totally not what I, was, what I was expecting for this challenge. When I'm summoned, recall all other allies. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know if I like the idea of that. Um, give an ally but boost. So that's not bad. Scale the dragon. Uh, okay, discipline could could work for me here. Although I do like these challenger allies, chain vests, grant an ally tough. It's it's dangerous to have too many three power spells, so I'm gonna go for Domation Steel. Add that to the deck. All right, some more cheapies is definitely a possibility here. And oh, I've got a decent number of elites in the deck, so I I almost don't even need to look at the other ones. Um, to know which way I'm going this, this turn. Yep, it's Domation Steel. Reinforcement. Summon two Dauntless Vanguards, then grant Elite Allies, plus one, plus one. Well, I've gone with Elites. Uh, there's a decent number of Elites in this deck. That could be a way to go. Uh, it really could be. Um, summon a Dauntless Vanguard, who's also an Elite, and definitely leaning towards Elites. Ooh, getting another judgment in deck though. Ooh, ooh. When an ally gets barrier, I don't have a lot of barrier in my deck though. Um, okay, so do I want to go and get this judgment? A battling ally strikes all battling enemies. 
Or do I want to go for summon? Or they're both eight costs. You know, I'm going to go for the judgment as a, in terms of eight costs, and that gives me a cheapy there too. Just because that judgment, I know, can get you out of some such tight spots. Oh, another bright steel formation, but how many high nine cost spells do we need? It's a nine and a three. It's not great. Five and a one might be more useful. Or two and a two, even better. To play recall an ally, and when I'm summoned, summon. Oh, that's a two for one and two for. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go for discipline here. Interesting. Okay, what have we got? Relentless. Uh, oh, it's an elite. Two elites, and I'm leaning towards those elites. Although they're three and four costs. Grant barrier to an ally in hand. That's interesting. And draw one. That's actually a pretty decent card. I might think about that one. An ally and enemy strike each other. That's also a great card. Shield wall or the elites. Tough choice. Tough choice. Recall an ally. Uh, that is a fast. That could be maybe theoretically useful to recall an ally uh, instead of when being killed by a spell. Ooh, tough choice. Tough, tough choice. The cheapies. I'm going to go with the elites. I I'm really concerned there. So my deck and the shopkeeper. So it's going to let me um, tr do trades. Grant an ally tough versus... Oh, 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 okay. I uh, like the, the, I do love the Jeweled Protector. Then we've got Navi, Highwayman, and, uh, oh, the Lancer. I'm definitely looking at that switch there too. Navi Conspirator, play me to recall an ally for, um, I don't like the bottom one. So let's switch that one. And, oh, we only get to switch one time. Uh, I'm going to, oh. Let's, uh, granting an ally tough it isn't really good. That's just one damage that ally does, like, tough is not great. So let's, but the jewel protector is. Let's accept that trade. Let's see how this turns out. Super interesting. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. I've, like, really got to keep track of that deck in my head. I guess if you were playing on the computer, you could keep track of the deck as you went. There was no time limit there to pick it. Um, let's go ahead and play. What's this loadout button? What's that? Equipped. Summoner's Rift. Oh, that's my board. Okay, that's fine. Let's move these and, um, go ahead. Uh, we don't need to worry about the board there. Sorry, just move these little things up into the top corner so we don't need to see them. Uh, the top right-hand corner there, that's really the, the dead spot in the board. Um, all right, let's go ahead and play this deck. Let's see how we go. Let's see how this turns out. I'm super, that was really cool. The way that you pick your deck like that. Uh, that was, that was awesome. I thought, I thought that it was going to be a full, like, um, you know, anything, anything like you just get to pick whatever you want, but that was super cool. All right, we're going to get rid of a battling ally. The eight cost spell at the start of the game is too much to hold, but we got a good cheap deck there with some elites. I might, I maybe, I, oh yes, and the protector there too. This is good for us. This is very good for us. Um, so what is it? When an ally gets barrier plus two plus two, not overly useful. So we're just going to block with that. Um, and that's fine. And they're going to get crate in hand. Another last breast follower from any region. Whoa. Okay. That's not a bad card. <laughs> Cannot complain with that one. I can see the kind of deck that they've put together. My turn here. Let's see what I've got. The chances are super high to play me recall an ally. All right. Well, I'm okay with this. So here's what I'm going to do. Oh, 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 Guzette's got quick attack. If I play that, I'm well, summoning Grant allies in hand, plus one, plus one. Ooh, I like, th I like this. So that's going to be my three cost card. And my, I I'll probably take some damage for it. But we're going to attack, and then we're going to have to recall that ally to play my two cost ally. But I'll then have a, so opponent sinking. I will then have a two, two 
elusive rather than just a 1-1 one, one with, like, you know, nothing. And I don't have any barrier bonuses. And that 1-1 one, one will become 2-2. Two, two, uh, or no, it'll get, it was 1-2, it'll become 2-3. So there we go, recall an ally. And we got an elusive card. Let's see what the opponent plays. I feel like I'm about to take some damage. Should we swap? When I'm summoned a mushroom cloud, should we swap? Or am I like, am I playing the long hand or do we take some damage each? Uh, well, there's a barrier card. How about that? I need, I, whoa, okay. What's he got? What's he, what's he done? Play, kill an ally, summon saplings. Well, they're going to die this turn. I'm going to take some damage this turn, and I'm actually going to do, when I'm summoned, grant allies in hand, plus one, plus one. I think that's worthwhile. Um, I'm going to take the hit. It's This could be a terrible mistake. This could be the this could be the game-ending mistake. To, to Oh, that's fine. They all die. Uh, he's used Challenger to take them out. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I was going to take six damage. And he made the decision for me. So I'm super cool with that. That is pro probably a good thing. Taking six damage is like a massive, like, wow, really? Oh, you know what? Grant an ally. I could wait and grant this Z plus three plus three as well. And then it's going to become insane. Um, I grant attack, grant plus two, plus two. It is my turn to attack. And then it becomes five, five. Uh, I don't, I, so I've got four mana, I either play Zed now, or not, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna play him, he'll become 5-5, five, five. the opponent will get something out, I'll attack, and we'll see how this turns out, what's the opponent doing, the opponent's holding something in his hand there too, I'm just trying to press and see what it is, it is, oh, it's a mushroom, the, it's, it's, there we go, mushroom cloud, burst, five, yeah, okay, so the opponent didn't play anything. He's probably got something up his sleeve. Let's see. I'm going to attack. It becomes plus five plus, or not plus five, but it becomes five five. Let's see what he does. He's blocking it. I kill it. I take two damage. Um, yep, not entirely unexpected. I'm cool with that. And what's he done? If an ally died this round, okay, he's killing it again. I'm cool with that. Next turn I get my 5-5 five, five and my Z becomes super awesome. And we're draining his some of his like just kill ally, super crazy kill ally cards. So this is about to get exciting. This is about so well oh, do I make my Z super invincible or do I make my barrier card even better? Or this card's elusive, which means that he can't block it. Oh, so many options, so many options. I really gotta think, but I gotta think quickly. He's done a 2-4 when another ally dies during one from the Nexus. That's that's a tough one. I might have to, you know what? I was going to make Zed super crazy, but instead I'm going to make this lifesteal um, elusive card a 5-5 five, five instead of making Zed super crazy. Oh, though Zed has Zed attack, summon a living shadow. No, it's Zed. It's all Zed. Um, and then on my turn, when I get to attack, I'm, I'll play him and that'll be awesome. So he's, oh, good, good. I get to attack. It's my turn now. I think we're coming good here. What's my spell? An ally gets plus three, plus uh, zero and barrier. I want to have my barrier card out there before I do that. So let's play Zed this turn. There we go. See if he's got a trick up his sleeve, but we're going to get... An elusive Z when I attack. Let's see what's he played. Something to just straight up kill it. Summon an illegal what? Five five. Interesting. Interesting. Well, let's attack. Should I attack with my five five? I feel like I should. I uh, I've got enough allies. I don't need to worry about them dying. If he dies, so be it. Let's attack and see what he does. Let's see what happens. There's my seven six elusive card so we're going to get some good damage in on our opponent here this is so exciting oh i have no idea excellent excellent yep cool and my zed stays alive and i only have to get one more attack in with that zed and uh and we are good to go i think he's he's in trouble i've got three spell mana to play oh he's killing it spend your mana and deal 
zero to a unit why i don't understand why he did that but okay and we'll get my barrier card down so that uh next turn i can play this give it plus three plus zero and barrier which will give it even more and then if he plays something crazy i can take it out with this little barrier babe there awesome awesome all right what am i gonna do what am i gonna play my elusive card attack grant me plus two plus two my scout scout i think needs to go out on an attacking turn um can't be blocked you know what let's play that card and then and then i can still play my barrier spell if i need to what's he done when i'm summoned refuel two mana spells so he can still play up to four in spells i need to hold out if he attacks with my barrier there to put a barrier on something potentially um specifically on her to like really boost her up um and i want to play my scout dude on my and he has a gets a barrier too so i really want to play him on oh, hold on hold on no oh now let's just do it this turn there we go he's got barrier but and she got the boost already so he's probably not going to attack let's see what's he doing uh to deal three to a unit okay interesting it's down three it's it's still good it's still good oh i when zed attacks i can use that give him barrier and a crazy huge boost and then his living shadow will be totally insane which one of these needs to die play kill ally summon two saplings yep that's fine when i'm summoned they're both summon cards refill to man spell mana it doesn't even matter i'm gonna do that and i feel like no that's what i'm gonna do i want to keep my elusive unit just because um it can't be blocked and uh and so okay cool perfect it still has one health and we're barrier we're, we're good we're super good i can just straight up attack i might even be able to finish it because he's got no nothing i think we did it I think we did it. There we go. Attack with all that. And let's grant my uh, boost. Give an ally plus three, plus zero, and barrier. And then attack. And let's see what the living shadow is. And it's a 10-3, just like I uh, planned. And he's dead. Nothing he can do. We got a win. Our first uh, win in this play mode. Wow. There we go. Yeah. Surrender. No surprise. Happy with the deck happy with the deck not so many spells lots of characters with some pretty decent abilities uh i like it and zed zed was cool i, I don't know if i got lucky well that's a decent xp bonus too i'm nearly up to level 13 in the vault uh the vaults still got a couple more no one more day one more day before the vault so we got to finish off i think level oh we get what we pick again champion pick is are we starting one of ones oh so this is just another other bonus support give my supported ally barrier interesting that's an interesting option or do i go for another zed I'm really thinking about going for another zed or fiora um with challenger definitely leaning towards another zed what comes with it um elusive card cheap 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 cards uh oh center's not bad an ally captures a unit that's also not bad shen i'm gonna go with the cheapies and zed's zed's pretty good let's add him to deck that's you know, so i'll have two zeds now that's cool every match you get to add more cards to the deck cool interesting let's keep playing keep playing in the expedition because yeah so interesting because the cards that you've got in your deck become less likely to be pulled with every extra card that you add into your deck so yeah super interesting how that works wow all right can we pull off a second win well three different regions uh i didn't know you could do three different regions but i suppose you can in this particular mode of play um, oh, nice. We got our, our Jeweled Protector. Great card. Although all these that cost four are great cards, but I, I need some cheapos. 
So we're going to get rid of all those fours and hopefully we get oh, no cheapers. This is dangerous time. Got two Zeds. I can't. Oh, this is super dangerous time. Fortunate that he didn't play anything. Still no cheapos. Oh, I'm super glad I picked Zed though. He's got a 2 3. That's not good. When he casts. Oh, that is not a good spell to have. Alright. So, what do I need to put in play? He's, it's his turn to attack. I do think I need a 3 3. He's going to attack with something. Um, obviously with, he's going to attack with something. I don't think Fiora is going to get a good play in here. We do have, uh, this two. Why can't I play that? Interesting. You can't pass. Well, I, th I don't want to kill. I've got two Zeds. Let's go ahead and play a Zed. And, um, if one Zed dies, it's not the end of the world. I can play another Zed. And that way I still keep Fiora there. Super interesting. I don't know why it wouldn't let me play this two-cost card. Oh, I didn't have an ally to recall. What's my spell here? Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, I don't want to spend my other Zed there. So we are going to... Which one of these do I want to take down? Uh, we don't want him to get more um, allies in his deck getting plus one, plus one. That's just not going to be good. And uh, so let's uh, let's go ahead and block that. Super unfortunate to lose a Zed like this, but I gotta do it. I, I really, I, I got to. Frostbite and, oh, ouch, ouch. I got a terrible pull. That's, that's the risk of the game. Um, recall an ally and summon a living shadow in its place. I think it's time to do that. Uh, no, that was stupid. That was totally stupid because that's spending a Zed. Oh, and shuffle Zed into your deck. Okay, Zed gets shuffled back into the deck. That was not totally stupid, especially since I don't have a lot of spells in the deck. We're going to do that. So he doesn't kill my Zed. Zed's shuffled back in the deck. And uh, we, my Living Shadow killed his character. That No, that was a fantastic move. That was a totally fantastic move for me to play. <gasps> Woo -hoo -hoo! Plus one, plus one to all allies. This is a danger move. This is a super crazy danger move. I'm doing it though. Um, this is a win or lose. All those allies just got boosted. But I don't have anything to protect myself against his attacks. So enlightened. I have plus four, plus four. It's life steal. If I can survive, if I can survive, I don't need to let it die. It's going to be a blocker. Uh, if I can survive, I'm in a fantastic position now. Next turn I'll have five to play recall an ally. Oh yes! That's gonna be good. Oh no, this is gonna die. Or yeah, no, it's gonna die. Um Should I do one damage to that or nothing to that to just oh no, it's got uh elusive anyway. I I should block it. I should No. You know what I'm gonna do? This could be totally crazy. This could be totally insane. But um you know what? Let's let's skip block. This this could be totally insane. I'm going to take the damage. Um, there we go. And then my turn. So I'm going to play my elusive call to play me. Recall an ally. And we're going to play, recall that dude there. And then I've got three left, and I can play it right back and give everything another plus one plus one. And then it'd be my turn, and my Fiora, and my Zed, and everything would be. Good to go. Ah, oh, so good, so so good. Um, let's let's do it. Let's play it, and everything in my hand gets another plus one plus one. I'm I'm through. I think I've made it through the danger zone now. Uh, let's let's see how this turns out, though. Drain one from a unit to summon a spider. He got me. I'm not I'm not through the danger zone just yet. It's elusive, so he can't uh, block it. So I can get some damage in, much needed damage in. Hold on. So when she has killed four enemies and survived, you win the game. So giving her the plus three, plus three might, might actually be good. I might actually be better to play my jeweled protector. Um, next turn. Actually, I, I definitely think that's a very good way to go. I'll have two cards in play. He's going to have three if he attacks me straight up. And if he doesn't, I'll, I'll be in a very good position here. Let's see what... I think I've made it through. I think we're good. We're going to have our Zed. So much stuff. 
Go oh, another one! Another one. Let's go ahead and play it. My turn to attack. It's a 6-6. Six, six. And we're going to put that boost all on Fiora. She might win me the game. She very much might win me the game. Do I want to attack with my 6-6? Six, six? Let's see what he does. Okay, he's done a 7-6. Super interesting. I could play my one... I don't want to give him another chance. We're going to attack with my elusive... We're going to attack with my 6-6. Six, six. If, he, if he blocks with his 7-6, that is definitely not the end of the world. Um, again, I'm going to take some big hits. I'm going to take some damage. At least I've got my elusive card there to block with. Interesting move. Super interesting move. I, I did not expect that. His turn. What is he doing? Um, and I should definitely play that with my one mana. 3-3, three, three, not bad. That will take out his Ruthless Raider or his Life Stealer. I want to leave, I, like in a way, I kind of want to leave those cheapo cards in, in there. Let's see what he plays. It's time to get out Fiora uh, as an 8-8 eight, eight card. If, if yes, I believe I'm going to get a chance to bring her out. Drain 3 from unit. Not a bad move, but now it's time to get out my Fiora. 8-8 eight, eight Fiora with Challenger. Yes, because she can take out those cheapo cards. So if he plays any cheapos, like, I can't do anything. Yes, he's played a cheapo. Frostbite an enemy. Oh, that's unfortunate for me. Um, what do I want to play? When you use elites, do I have any elites? Fiora is not elite. She is, so she would get... Um, oh no, when I summon an elite, it gets a bonus. No, I need, I need the 2-2. Two, two. That will take care of his Icelander dude. Um, theoretically, I've, he's probably got a spell up his sleeve. But uh, this is the way we're going to go. We're going to have to take out the 4-2. We're going to have to take out his 6-6 his six, six there and his... Uh, which one do we want to... We want to stop the 3 damage. That's what we're going to do. That's how it's going to turn out. Um... Let's let's see what happens next. I've got some great cards in my deck here too. Challenger, Last Breath, Great Random Elite Challenger. Oof, such such a good option here. Uh, hold on. Oh, it's gonna die either way. No, nope. so that's that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take two damage. Let's block. Got a feeling he's got a spell up his sleeve. Uh, to like fix it, so something crazy stuffs me up. That's how the game works. If he doesn't have a spell up his sleeve, then I'm in a very good position. Bring out my Zed and do some good attacks with Zed. And my Zed is pretty good now too. 5-4. You know what? Actually, let's bring out my Jeweled Protector and make Zed even stronger. Because then it's Living Shadow. Oh, okay. Good move. Good move. Um, put a Living Shadow on its place. He's got a decent card in his deck still. And he's taken out my Fiora. There we go. I, I think I'm better off to just use Fiora. I don't need to be doing damage to him just yet. Um, I can use that excellent to keep Fiora alive. We need to... I think my win game is probably going to be with Fiora. I've killed two enemies. So let's do the attack. Unless he's got something crazy up his sleeve. Which, if he does, drains his mana, drains the card. I'm not going to complain. I do have some decent options up my sleeve here i've got eight spell mana for cards five six seven eight i can actually play that and play zed maybe maybe i was silly attacking so soon maybe because she does have challenger that was that was silly i should have played my cards first and then attack with zed this turn i stuffed it up hope that what miss that was a big mistake and i hope that wasn't the end of it but once we get up to nine next turn i'll have that as well and i'm gonna i mean a pretty decent position all right that was good that was good I'm, I'm pretty happy with that opponent's turn well let's see what the opponent plays um okay four three plunder get an empty interesting i'm going to play that and make zed even more insane what's he gonna do he's thinking he's thinking the question is does he have massive spells and you know what i think the answer is Maybe not so much. Maybe he doesn't have a massive end game deck. That 8-7-Z is like just insane. Um, I'll let Fiora die for 8-7-Z. Uh, for 
Oh, fantastic position. Nine spell mana. He he can't... Well, he can attack me, but it's not going to do him any good. No good whatsoever. No good. And the opponent surrendered. The opponent realized. Eight, seven, Z. Game over. <laughs> yes. I can't believe he surrendered. He still had 20 health. Oh. But, uh, you know, he had an early to mid game deck and the game got to end game. And I had a, I have a strong end game deck. I have a very weak early game. I took massive damage, but very strong end game deck. Oh, interesting. We can do some swaps. Okay. What have we got? Rally. Um, uh, okay. Attack. Grant me plus two, plus two instead of this elusive card. Uh, that's a 4-4 swap. Do I want to do that? I don't know. I mean, I like the elusive. This one here, a cheap. So play me, recall an ally. That worked well for me. Or a 4-2, cost 7 when I'm summoned other. Um, you know what? I don't know that I actually want to do any of those trades. I might, I might skip the trade. Shopkeeper, no thank you. Alright, we got some good XP and some good rewards coming after this. Actually, let's go... I assume that we can go look at the rewards and come back to the expedition. Hope so. Uh, good, good, good. Plenty of green XP. We want the XP boosts uh, here. Let's get the capsule and then we'll go back to that. So exciting. So good. All right. Um, continue. So how many matches can I get in my um, expedition? Third round. Play. Whoa, this is so good. This is so good. Um, whoa. Uh, I'm limited to recording about an hour as well. So if this video goes over an hour, I'm going to have to split it into two parts. Uh, so we'll see. I'm, I'm tracking time up to 36 minutes. We're doing well. Do I want... Hold on. Choose a starting cards to replace. Um, you know what? Okay, this one here is not overly great. Scales of the Dragon. I might replace that with something else. I've got a three card Fiora. Uh, okay, cool. And it's a cheapo. So this is good. When I'm summoned, give me Elusive this round. So that's cool. That's cool. And what do I want to do here? When you summon another ally, give it... Okay, but it will die because of that. And we've got this. When I'm summoned... Okay, this is not bad. I think I'm in a good spot here. Let's do that. And create a 6 plus cost spell from a region other than Demacia. Interesting card. He did not attack. Super interesting. I am going to go with... Oh, really, 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 really tough decision here. I think I could go with my... actual. I was going to go with this elusive card and, and this one card. But having a couple... Um, one cost spells to boost up, you know, late in the game to can, can be not bad position to put you with. And playing that gives me two extra cards anyway. Let's see what he plays. He's not played anything, so we may as well just do an all-out attack of uh, that's going to be five points on him. He'll obviously he'll block one. None of my creatures. He didn't block one. Super interesting. I'm in a. I feel like I'm in a great position now. I feel like I'm in a fantastic position here with this deck. Um, Fiora there, like, you got, I don't know how you get her to kill four spells. Stun an enemy, okay. And, uh, stun and summon the tail of the dragon. When I'm recalled, transform me into concussive palm, which is, I don't know, we'll look at it here. Concussive palms, oh, okay. So if you recall it, it goes back to its deck. What do I want to play? Fiora, I've killed two enemies to level her up, and killing a 1-1 one, one enemy there is fantastic. I will play her, or... No, he's got Scout and, and Barrier. Let's go ahead and play Fiora. Let's go ahead and do it. He's feeling confident there, doing the multiple waves. Uh, I, I, Alright, interesting move. He has a super interesting move. I'll probably kill it with this one. Oh, no, I've got to do at least two damage to it. Whoa, interesting move. All right. Oh, interesting move. He's being cheeky. He's being cheeky. I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm going to skip the block. And I probably shouldn't have, but I, I did. 
Um, I stunned my 2-2 card. Well played is all I can say there. So, it's got Scout. It's a 2-2 card. I am going to Scout it. I'm going to use it. It's going to get Shield. It's going to get Barrier. Do I need to use the Scout? Yes, I am, I'm going to. Let's see what he plays. Let's see. He's thinking about it. He's thinking hard. And then I'll get to play one of my... I've got so many cheapo enemies here. But what's this one here? When you summon an elite, reduce the cost by one. Is that an elite? Oh, interesting. Oh, no, no. That's why it's cost reduced. Super interesting. He didn't play anything, so I'm tempted to bring out my elusive card this turn as well. I think I should. And then we can... Oh, no. Yes, I should. And then see what... Force him to bring something out. Let's see. Is he going to bring something out? Because now we're going to get a massive massive attack he didn't bring anything out so do my scout attack i am feeling i'm feeling good but he's got some spells up his sleeve yep thought he was going to do that so that fiora doesn't get her um challenger attack in um i'm okay with that for now i'll attack with everything but fiora for now i want to keep her so if he plays cheaper one anything that does one attack i'll use fiora's and then later if I need to. When I'm summoned, draw a unit if an ally died this round. Interesting. Alright, well we're just gonna we're gonna do the attack. We are gonna do it just all out. Let's let's do it. And you know what? I don't like that 3-3. Three, three. Let's get rid of the 3-3. Three, three. It's uh, I don't know if this is a good trade or not. Fiora didn't work for me, but we cleared a 3-3. Three, three. And she was cheapo anyway, so I'm okay with that. Let's go ahead and attack and see what he does. He's going to take a decent chunk of damage. Uh, there is nothing he can do about it. And he d um, and I can block with my Cheetos as well. He's below 10 health, 9 health. I'm feeling confident, but these games are not over till they're over. They're like, whew, anything can happen still. All right, so do I want to play the 4 Elusive with Lifesteal? And the one, or do I want to play the three? When you summon elite, reduce its cost, or do I want to end the, um, to play me recall an ally? Hmm, five, five in play there. Uh, what have we got? The scout, I can recall my scout card. Whoa, okay, okay. And then I can play scout again and get the the extra bonus although it's a 2-2 two, two, we're not actually going to take be able to take out garen um, um tough call i've got my challenger I, th I feel like i need my challenger card in play so let's go ahead and do it let's let's no i don't have long i don't have long all right let's Let's do it. Let's, oh, I almost ran out of time there. That would have been not good. That would have been not good at all. All right. He's attacking with his Garen. No surprise. I'll use... I, I mean, it almost doesn't even matter. I'll use my Navi. Uh, yep, let's do it. There we go. It would have been cool to, to be able to recall the Navorian Highwayman. To bring in another two cards here but at least we're only doing one oh he's only has to strike twice it doesn't matter but yeah it's a one let's block it uh anyway it's gonna get leveled up there's not much i can do about it i'm not getting super strong cards four mana there uh which one do i want to bring into play i think i want to be summoning elusive to play me recall an ally that or do i go full ahead and with the life blade it's an elusive it's my turn to attack next um, oh, that's elusive too. So they're both elusive. Let's go ahead and play the four cost card. And now I've got four, five, six elusive. And then in a moment we'll have seven, eight elusive. Eight, nine, ten elusive. We can win this turn. We've done it. We've done it. To play me, recall an ally. All right. So to play, play. Recall my scouting card. Super awesome. He's gonna do something, but I'm gonna I'm gonna I can take him out with full elusive. Unless he's got some sort of crazy spells. Uh he's he's done. Oh so exciting. So exciting. 
So exciting. Oh, we got him. We got him. It's a 6-5 with Overwhelm. I cannot be damaged by enemy units that have 5 plus power. That's an interesting card. Um, and then I can play my Elusive to play Recall an Ally. Who do we want, want to recall? Probably our 2-2 two -two there. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah. 2-2. Two 2-2 -two. Two -two little dude. You can get Recall. There we go. And he's looking at that going... Two, four, six, eight damage elusive. I'm in trouble. And then I could play my two two as well, because why not? Uh, let's do it. And then we can. We I'm pretty sure, pretty sure we're in a super good position here. Uh, no, no, I might keep that as spell mana just in case I get a spell. Um, and I'm gonna do my attack now. Elusive, elusive. Elusive, and we're going to take out that free one. It can disappear. Attack in next turn. I'm pretty sure I got him next turn with. A, a, what happened? How did. When. Oh, it's only elusive when he's summoned. Oh. Oops. Oops. Oh well. I stuffed that up. Never mind. He's, on, he's down to three. Um, let's play. I, I did stuff that up completely. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. So he's got his Garen, and he gets a rally every turn. That's fine. What am I going to do here? Attack, grant me plus two, plus two. It's time for defense. I can play seven. I can play my warden. I can play that dude. When you when summon when you summon elite, reduce my cost by one. A three three. I think it probably doesn't hurt to bring a three three into play here. So let's go ahead and do it. I think it's as cheap as it's going to get. And then we'll see what he does. Uh, looking at that elite with the barrier to bring that in. If if he plays another card. But I've got all my elusive cards. So uh, when you summon... Okay, interesting. Cool. Let's bring it in. It's got barrier so I can block his elite Garen. Without uh, taking any or losing a character there, I'll lose something to block this with overwhelm, um, but that's okay. I can I can do that. Big attack here. All right, we're gonna do take out the three three, take out his four two, and I only need to do four damage. I can lose one of these to play me recall an ally. I can I can take out one of them. You know what? No, I can take six damage. Let's do it. Block. I th I'm pretty... What's he got up his sleeve here? Grant ally plus zero plus three. So he's probably going to play that now. Um, to keep one of his allies alive. Yep. No surprise there. Grant an ally barrier. Oh, interesting. Um, keep his 4-2 alive. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I've got my 2-2 two -two warden still there. I'm feeling pretty confident. I'm feeling very confident. What have I pulled? Let's have a look. All right. Five, four with Challenger. And he's given up. He's realized uh, he, I've got Elusive. He didn't get the card. That's three wins in. Uh, when my time limit gets reached for recording, uh, it just cuts out. And I want to make sure all the... the um, yeah, I want to make sure all this gets gets played. So that's going to be this video. And then part two uh, of, my, of this win streak is going to go in the next pack. So I get to pick another go. Let, um, okay, it all de depends on what we bring in. The Jewel Protector is awesome. Um, plus three and Barrier. Yeah. Uh, Senna's okay, but only really if you've got a Lucy in a new deck. So it's a no-brainer. It's another Zed getting added to the deck. Oh, that was awesome. Total wins, three. That was part one of this expedition. We're on a decent win streak. Super awesome. Super awesome. All right. Um, I'll put a link in the description. I can't do end screens uh, because YouTube is stupid when I film from my phone. Um, in this resolution, it won't let me put end screens in. So the link to part two is in the description. 
Uh, all right. Let's go ahead and, um, yeah, see you with part two.